Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Jack Lover. And Lena Trum with your Bulldog broadcast. Today is... Friday, March 1st. Happy March! Today is day five of our special subject schedule. Happy birthday to Shepard, Holocock, and Chase Rowan. Shepard and Chase, we hope you have a great birthday. Here's Miss Gross to review her two truths and a lie. Hi, artists. It's Mrs. Gross here to reveal my two truths and one lie. So I really did have a Portuguese man of war on my head with the tentacles all over. It was very painful. My second story was about a manatee when I was in Florida. We did swim with the wild manatees. It was an amazing experience. My third story was that we were on the beach and there was kangaroo that hopped by. Well, I did go to Australia and I did hike along the coast, but the kangaroos were not on the beach with us. They were up in the, in the grasslands a little bit further up the coast. So I did hike with the wild kangaroos, but I did not see them on the beach. Did you get it right? Did anyone guess, guess those? Next week is an exciting week. Miss Williamson and Miss Malloy have some fun activities planned for Read Across America. This year's theme is Reading is Everywhere. Where's your favorite spot to read? Let's go to these students to see where they like to read. Yeah, now go. Miss Malloy, where do you like to read? My favorite spot to read is in my family room, and it's a real comfy chair, and it has an ottoman, so I put my feet up on the ottoman, and then my two little dogs come up and snuggle with me, and it is my favorite, favorite spot to read. That's nice. My favorite spot to read is like in a be beanbag or chair, and I, I also snuggle up my one dog, and she's like little, and then in the and it's like, and I sometimes put like a comfy blanket so it can be comfy. I bring a blanket too. I do. Hello, my name is Laura Lover, and my favorite place to read is probably either my bed or at or in school because either in my classroom we have like these cozy spots or we get to sit at our desks and it's just so quiet. Or because I like in my bedroom, I like snuggling with all my like stuffed animals and I like going under blankets maybe even sometimes bringing a light under to like just read under. Hi my name is Paige and where I like to read and I like to read it in my mom's room and snuggle up near the blankets. Here is Miss Williamson and Miss Malloy to tell you more. Hi, Ms. Williamson. Hi, Mrs. Malloy. I'm so excited. Do you know what next week is? I do. It's Read Across America Week. I love that. I love that. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Me hmm. too. Where do you like to read? When it's warm outside, I love to read on my back deck. And oh, in the wintertime, I love to curl up in my bed. Oh, with a blanket? Mm-hmm. Oh, that yep. sounds perfect. Yes. Where do you like to read? Uh, well... One of my favorite spots is in my family room, mm -hmm. and then it's a real comfy chair, and my two dogs come and cuddle with me, and mm. I love it. Absolutely love it. That sounds wonderful. But did you actually know that you can read everywhere? Everywhere? Everywhere. Can you read in the car? In the car. Mm -hmm. Can you read in bed? In bed, yes. Can you read in school? Of course. You can read everywhere. Can and you read in your brother's room? If he allows you, yes. Well, that's amazing. In the kitchen? Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. It's amazing. On the beach? Beach. That's a great place to read, the beach. Uh, I love reading on the beach. Yes. Well, next week, we are going to get to read everywhere in school. We have lots of fun activities planned for Read Across America Week, like buddy reading at Bulldog Beach. Oh, going to the beach. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. <gasps> I know. I've always wanted to have, like, a cafe and do like a book tasting Ooh. instead of a coffee tasting mm -hmm. in a cafe. Maybe I'll do that in the library. Perfect. We also, we've heard that some characters have escaped the pages of their books. And Stop. unfortunately, there might be a crime scene that we need some reading detectives to solve. Stop. Yes. A 
crime scene. That is exciting. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I actually saw some characters throughout the building. Hmm? I know. It like, was, I know, kind of hiding behind stuff. It was weird. Ooh, we'll have to be on the lookout for those and yeah. see if we can find them. Maybe we could do like a scavenger hunt mm, and look perfect. for those. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, can we dress up? Can we dress up? Can we dress up? Yes. In fact, one day we're going to be dressing up as book characters. So <gasps> think about your favorite character and how you can dress up and disguise as them. I, I know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I bet you some teachers are probably going to want to do something as a group to the whole grade. Ah, that's a great class. idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. One last thing, make sure that you get real cozy on Friday with either pajamas or your favorite comfy clothes because we're going to be reading in the dark with some flashlights. Flashlights? Mm -hmm. In Flashlight the dark? Reading. Yes. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm so excited about Read Across America Week. Me too. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye, Bulldogs. Sounds like a great week. March 6th to March 8th is a special grass fundraiser at T6 Gaming. Stop by T6 over the weekend to raise money for JM Grass. Read Olympic practice is every Wednesday at 825 in the library. On Fridays, we give shout outs to students and teachers that go above and beyond. Let's go to Jules and Donatello for weekly shout outs. This is Juliet Priebus with your weekly shout out. Shout out to John Anthony Latta and Emmanuel Cervantes in Miss Bailotti's kindergarten class for filling their kindness buckets. Way to be bucket fillers. Shout out to Christopher Musetti to Logan Frankenfield. Shout out from Christopher Musetti to Logan Frankenfield for helping me clean up af after I dropped from my son after I dropped something from my sunshine bin. Shout out to Cole Pulaski for helping to put up chairs at the end of, at the end of the day from Aubrey Norton. Shout out to Skylar Vasquez in Miss Jardine's class for helping pick up a chair that fell off a student's desk at the end of the day. Shout out to James Bennis in AM Kindergarten for being such a caring classmate during center times. You are a great friend, friend, James. Shout out to Aubrey Norton for sharing a toy with me. From Summer Tarlu, Tarlu Carter in Miss Willett's class. Shout out to Matt Adams in Miss Jardine's class. Thanks for getting my violin at the end of the day. From Rehan. Shout out to Paisley Tara Savage for always having a kind heart towards classmates. Your kindness doesn't go unnoticed. From Mrs. Tomlinson and Miss Malloy agrees. <laughs> Shout out to Liam Williams in Miss Jardine's class for helping students out with finishing their Black History Month projects. Way to lend a helping hand. Shout out to Miss Johnson. Shout out from Miss Johnson to Wyatt Clemens in PM Kindergarten. For wiping down our tables at the end of the, at the end of the day, and Madison Hanosko, Nosko, in PM Kindergarten for erasing our whiteboard, way to make the classroom look great. Shout out to Rehan, Tumar, Mohai, Mo Mohel Mangolia, Naman. Rosadia, Landon Weaver, Chloe Fer Ferry, Layla Appiot, Lily Lesher, and Anna Ricker on their teamwork and perseverance in completing their STEM design challenge. Their projects will be completing in the bucket in Bucks County STEM design challenge. Good luck. Shout out to Miss Lewis and Miss Godshall from Miss Jardine. Thanks so much for all your help with the STEM club. I couldn't do it without you. Shout out to Aiden Rosenberg and Danica Carluzzi, who helped hold my stuff while I was sweeping under the tables, under the lunch tables, from Olivia Adi in Miss Willett's class. Great job, students. Remember, you can send a shout out to anyone who goes above and beyond. Just let your teacher know. 
One more shout out. Shout out to Jules Priebus for doing an awesome job all by herself with all these tough names. Good job, Jules. Thanks. <laughs> Good job, students. Remember, you can send a shout out to anyone who's going above and beyond. Just let your teacher know. Now back to our main studio. Great job, students. Let's go to Miss Flora now for her daily message. Grass Bulldogs, are you fabulous? Yes, yes Miss Floyd, we, we are, are fabulous. fabulous. We certainly are fabulous today and every day. Yes, yes Miss Floyd, we, we are, are fabulous. fabulous. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Bulldog Broadcast. We show our best cash behavior in the classroom, in the media, on the playground, on bus, and at home. Let's all do our part to make this a cares kind of day because a bulldog always cares. Have a great cares day, Grass Elementary, because at JM Grass, we shine, shine from, from within. within.